you will be coming there. You can be there for two days. Then I know which baby. Do you, do you hear? Mm. It's me sending him a message to say, I'm coming to fetch the clothes or send your drive. He's like, there's no way. Then on solo when he says, I don't know. You were homeless and then the data <laughs> came and said. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Own Narrative Podcast by myself, Promise Magunyani. This podcast is about marriage and everything revolving marriage, be it divorce, side chicks, extramarital kids, cheating, you name it. And this podcast episode is sponsored by Glee Thrifting. This is a thrifting store based in Parkhurst. We'll just link their details below. They have timeless pieces. Please go and support them. Anyway, guys, today I'm sitting Lintogazi, a very, very beautiful. Are you young or old? I'm, I'm still yet to know I'm you. I'm old. Ah, <laughs> you don't look old. Anyway, I'm sitting with Tuli. She calls herself Prophetess Tuli. I want to dive into her drama, her marriage, her businesses, and all things that has to do with Tuli. Mommy, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You look so beautiful. Thank you. You look beautiful yourself. Your people need to see you live. Then the doll they see online is the doll in person. And so you look so beautiful. Thank you. You do too, hey? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'm just going to tell you how I knew about you. Obviously, I knew about you online. I was not following you. I think I'm still not following you. I need to follow you, but I always watch you. So I must just click the follow button. You also don't follow me. You need to follow me. Anyway, I always <laughs> I don't you. agree with some of the things you post. <laughs> That's what you so said when I, I invited you. Regard. <laughs> okay, I think you, you will tell me what you don't agree with me during the process of the interview. I always want to hear people's perspectives, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I met her on, this is the first time we meet, but I know you on TikTok. And I know the things that you do, which is the pyjama thing. That's how I know you about the yes. pyjama events that you do. But I would like to know you as two linkosas and as a two linkosas. Yes. Yeah. I want you to introduce yourself two times. The first one is you telling me who Tuli, Tuli is and then prophetess Tuli. So we'll start by you telling us who Tuli is, where you're from, siblings, how you grew up, where you went to school, you know, the likes. Okay, um, I'm truly just like there's a scripture I was reading on Sunday that yeah. spoke about Paul. But he's Paul and then he's an apostle and an anointed person. Oh. So with every person, Rinaldi dimensions that different. 100%. Tuli Fela is a Tuli who is an introvert. Funny enough, I love my space. I love being alone. I've got three siblings, yeah. um, two sisters and a younger brother. From my mother's side, my dad also has his family wherever mm. I'm familiar, higher. And that's just me. I grew up loving beauty. I used mm. to do the beauty contest. You know, these things. They get the beauty contest. Um, I loved doing drama as well at school. Mm. I played netball. I was very active, like, go the extramural activities yeah. in school. And then I went to Rosebank College. I actually studied public relations, but I've never worked a public relations job. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> Rosebank so, in Pretoria. Rose no, College. in Brem. Okay. In Brem, yes. So I did public relations. I was also at some point Miss Rosebank College because Nikki so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, I think really that's where God found me. Yeah. Fully. Um, I got born again when I was in Rosebank College in 2011. Mm. And that's where this whole thing started. I've never been into this thing. I've never what been thing is that? the the calling, the prophetess. The, yes. I've I've never dreamt in my life. I've okay. never even ever said like came out and said I'm a prophetess. I would just start getting invited, give out to to their programs, mm. and people just say prophetess. For me, even now, it's it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's just God using me yeah. um, to help certain people at certain seasons of their lives. And 100%. I don't look at myself as higher than anybody or as lower than anybody or whatever. Mm. And that's why I don't even give the public a chance to own me, to tell me what to wear, mm. to tell me <laughs> what to define me. To No, I don't do that because I know I belong to God and not to them. They are following me. That's why even when they check my social medias, I don't follow them. Mm. Ooh, what are you saying about people that follow us? No, especially Baba Zalwani. Yeah. I, I don't. 
Yeah. I follow a lot of people and I intentionally, like I say, when you get to a space in your life where your peace is so important, mm. you guard your triggers. I know their judgments and whatever can be, can trigger you. So I intentionally don't follow them. Nice, mm. nice. So prophetess Tuli is, what does it mean? What does it take for you to be a prophet? Is it just an office or do you prophesy to people or what? For me, how it, it actually started with help, yeah. right? I used to have a salon in Ranfontein. Mm. I will tell you a very funny thing about that salon that I owned mm -hmm. is that it was closer to the mall, just opposite the mall. People during their break times would literally just come to my salon. There's a lady who would just come and lie on the couch. I say it's me rare. Okay. I say it's anything. She would just sleep. I realized what this lady, it's like she's burdened. And she found rest anytime she came to my oh. salon. So it happened that all the time the people would come there. Kosa Luning, a lot of gossip happens. Mm. But in my salon, I found that women would just come and share. It was a place where they would healing. just come for healing, would mm. talk, you know, would pray. My salon would sometimes close around 9 p.m. because people would just come ribuye, oh, and wow. eventually I, I did a an event called my testimony mm. you know because i sometimes when people look at you they look at you and be like oh my word he's so pretty you know it's like you know you've never even had an inch of trouble in your life yeah. or whatever so i did a program called my testimony where i just shared with women how i came to having a salon mm. how i came to be where i was at that stage That's so nice. from that time i got a lot of following people a lot of multiracial people actually attended the conference white people oh, wow. indians and black people and we related people always found healing when they spoke to me oh. right because there's people who just carry that aura of healing around them so I understand. so that's how you came um you started being a prophetess yes. so that's your brand name now prophetess truly no my brand name is nkosazana Oh, Nkosa. Is that also your like government name, your ID name? It's not my government name. It's a name I grew my dad and pizza galon. Oh, nice. Yes. So where are you originally from? What's your culture? Like, I, I'm thinking you're a baby. I'm thinking you're a Kosa. I'm thinking I'm you're a Kosa. Are you Kosa? Yes. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Kosa woman. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say. Yeah, but they're so beautiful. Anyway, so you're from Eastern Cape originally, your origin. Yes. But my dad is from the Eastern Cape. Okay. Yes. And your family is this side or what? My family, even my dad is this side. Okay. Yes. Everyone is this side. So actually. you're a Joba girl. Yes. Okay. Anyway, in um, you are you are married or you've been married or you are divorced. I just want us to go into your marriage. How did you meet your husband? When did you get married? And yeah, how did you meet he your husband? He actually met me online. <laughs> on uh -huh. <laughs> And I think he saw one of, like I'm saying, I've always been doing the work of God, okay. whether in the pulpit or wherever. You know, even when I was modeling, before we'd go on stage, I would ask the girls, let's pray. Okay. So I've always been doing something for God in a way that is either traditional or non-traditional, yes. just like the pyjama party. It's non-traditional, but women are still getting help from there. So he saw me doing these motivational things and then he invited me one time mm. to come and minister at his church and he's then also he's a pastor yes he's also oh in, wow yes. <laughs> okay yes so that was it the rest was history <laughs> then, so are you guys divorced now or i don't yes. want to talk i know that you don't want to talk much about um some things but i just want to yeah you know when you're at peace with someone you don't yeah. try and drag their name into things they're not into so mm. i feel comfortable talking about myself then unless yeah. he also says i'll join you at one of the podcasts yes. and, speak. and speak yeah yeah i think it's just respect of, yeah yeah especially when you're not fighting with someone with someone you guys are at peace and you're enjoying the relationship then you have a child together though. yes how old is you? Do you have a child? I've got kids. I've got <gasps> two kids. Yes. And also my kids, I I intentionally don't put them on my social media. Mm. Um Ish. I respect them. My my daughter is a dancer. She mm. loves to dance. I remember there was one time I put her on my status. She got a tag. You are a woman of God. Why your child oh, a gosh. dancer? My 
daughter is, is a, a dancer of note. So I've intentionally said, I'm not going to say anything about mm. my kids. I won't put them on social media because our kids get bullets for for our for, own for things. our own things. So mm. I just said, you know what? Let me wait for them to grow and do decide their own thing. Yes. To decide if they want to be out there or not. Because it's so funny how people are so vile. People are like, so how can you, you allow your child to be dancing? Um, the dance it's uh, you know, the world. I was like, oh how do you word. even have an opinion about a child? This is just a child. It just shows how sick people mm. are. People are, are extremely sick. So you've got two children. Yes. How old are they? Um, it's eleven and three. Oh wow. Okay. And are you divorced now? I think yes. we'll, are you divorced now? Yes. Fully divorced. Fully. I've heard that you're not divorced. <laughs> As Perhuma first said. Mr. Piri, uh, Pastor Piri. Let them bring their proof. You know, the thing is with Solomon, um, I dare him even now. Let him bring anything he says is good on me. Mm. Since Solomon started talking about me, there's not a single proof. There's not a picture. There's not a name of a person. There's nothing that he has ever brought forward. I mean, even, even the if, seven marriages. Because yes, you, I want seven to ask or you eight. That. Is it nine? Is it yeah, seven? People are failing to get one, just one umshat. When now you have like almost seven, six. Dude, and I'm saying, okay, if I'm going to come out and say Promise has been married two times, mm. I must at least be able to prove that she got married got 2010 Alatha got 2011 mm. um oh solomon should at the level he thinks he is as a big boy that he thinks Ooh. he is like for me solomon is a red i always tell him <laughs> even on his whatsapp i always call him a small oh, boy so you guys talk on we WhatsApp. talk on whatsapp me and solomon uh-uh. i tell him that you are a small boy you are a red how do you guys know each other from social media so anyway, guys, Solomon is a Christian. Um, he's not a Christian. He's an antichrist blogger. I think that's the best way to describe him. Solomon is not a Christian. Um, because as Christians, there are certain things you would do. If you'd ask Solomon, since he claims to be a Christian, has he ever brought anyone to Christ? Has anyone ever been saved because of Solomon? Is there any success story that is on Solomon's page? Is her story that he has ever shared of people doing good? Has he ever came out and said, since I posted about whoever two years ago, the person has changed and here's their beautiful story? I mean... Yeah, and you know what? What you're saying, they're valid, but then I don't know the office of of Christianity and stuff. Mm. But I hear what you're saying. But as far as I know, he's a Christian um YouTuber, and he he why he attacks people or he maybe he just brings out the truth because like you know Christians have got this whole um crown on their head but mm-hmm. then behind uh closed doors they're doing a lot of things i think maybe he's doing that just to or- when you <laughs> expose even the bible says that have nothing to do with evil mm-hmm. but expose all the works to satan yeah. when you expose something if i say this is what i found mm-hmm. to expose is to bring forth mm-hmm. it's not to bring out my own thoughts mm-hmm. and the truth goes with the truth mm-hmm. the truth would always have proof do you understand? Mm. So if you come out and say, oh, the person has been married so many times and he claims all this was during the the whole COVID time where home affairs and the courts and whatever were closed, he claims those are the times when I was divorcing and, and getting married. Imagine home affairs literally opened during those times <laughs> to... <laughs> To Merin Kosazana. Like, I mean, how how special should one be if you are at that level where the courts and everywhere they'll just open to entertain your divorce, entertain your marriage? I mean, that's sick. So, but is it is it the fact that you did not marry this man? Because I saw uh, this video where he was taking out your pictures with this man. With this, I saw one. I didn't watch the rest of the thing, but he was counting all the marriages that he's talking about. Is it... Is it just a thing? Yeah, the only did not picture marry. he had was yeah. a picture of me and my ex-husband. Or no is that your other, ex-husband? Yes, there's it's, no other one that he has ever taken out. Oh, that means it's the one that I saw. Oh, yes. that's your ex-husband. Yes. yes, that's the man I was married to. So any other thing that he claims, like... Is it maybe people names? that you dated but not per se married? Who are the people? The thing is with Solomon, he's never even given us a single name of mm. these people. It's just... 
a person in Rustenburg, mm. no, a person in Borch, and a person in Bloemfontein. I myself personally have been to Bloemfontein once <laughs> on a conference. I've been to Bloemfontein once and I had booked Go Southern Sun and went to a conference and went back home. So when he talks about Bloemfontein guy, I've never been. Who's the person that... Um the friend, the doc, prophetess name Nai or Nami, who's that? Is it your friend? Yes. Uh, prophetess Nami is my friend, my only friend, my best friend. Because on his podcast, he's saying that you and Nami, you do these things together. Oh, no. I think there's Prophetess Nam and then there's Apostle Nikki. The, I think it's Nikki. Yes. The yeah. pictures he posted there were of Apostle Nikki, which Solomon has got nothing. Is she your friend? Yes. Apostle she Nikki. is like a sister. She's my sister, actually. Mm. Um, What Solomon did was to go... I've studied journalism, right? Mm. Public relations. Yeah. So, we, you know, we majored on journalism. Yeah. You cannot go on my Facebook, take pictures that I've posted, pictures that are public. Mm. Then you repost them and you claim you're I exposing. Think that's the crazy thing. It's I think sick. that's the thing about people that I'll come and say, my husband once cheated. And then they're like, they He's use it cheater. against you. I'm you like, I'm I mean, the one who said those things. I mean, you take my pictures where I was traveling um, with my sister and then you repost them and you claim to be exposing us. We put out those pictures. How do you know, Solomon? Because apparently there was a scam of cars. So you were working in sales. Yes, I was working in sales the time I met Solomon. Mm. So there's a, a man of God who claims to be a bishop who actually who scammed my client of 50,000. So Solomon got involved in the story, trying so? to, trying to sharing my story oh. saying, okay, we are looking for this pastor. He's in vendor. That's the only time. Who's the pastor? The bishop. Uh, bishop Karombi. So what happened? Tell me about that transaction. How okay. did it go about? What happened is that I had a client who was a doctor, Abat Lakolo, and he told me he's blacklisted. I told him with me, like Who's your deal. Um, oh, I forgot the surname. He okay. is from Cameroon. So oh, okay. the surname is a bit hard to, to pronounce. To pronounce. No problem. But I'll think about it as we go. Mm. So he said, I, I told him that with me, I won't be able to assist you. Mm. Right. So a friend of mine had introduced me to Bishop Karambi. So Bishop Karambi said, I know that you're in cars, but to us are previewing. Nah, where I work, I'm able to assist blacklisted people. Okay. So I was like, oh, so this doctor is like, you're totally, I'm desperate. Like, I need, I need a, a car. car. Agently, I'm a doctor, but somehow my name is on ITC. Mm. So if there's any people back on to I was like, no, man, I know a man of God. And I referred the client trusting Mutwana because mm. he's a bishop, mm. right? So the guy transferred Chile, day, whatever, and there was no car. Till mm. today, there's not. So they been... transferred the money to you? No, to the company of the bishop. I okay. don't take any clients, Gosh. chele, de, whatever. Yes. Even people who come to me, they've been scammed by my pictures. I don't ask people for yeah. money online. I don't take money for the Goloi. If you buy a car where I work, the money goes directly. Mm. So also with this one, the money went directly to, to the man of God. Are you still working? What, where, what, what is that dealership? Are you still working there or what? No, I'm not. I'm not working at a dealership currently. I'm running my own business. Nice. And we'll talk about your businesses mm. as well. Okay. So then how do you now know Solomon? So the bishop told Solomon that you are part of the scam or what? How do you now get to know Solomon and chat with him on your WhatsApp? Okay, I'm chatting to Solomon on my WhatsApp because some weeks ago, mm. he sent me a WhatsApp on time. Um, if you don't stop exposing Pastor Piri, I'm going to expose you. I was like, who's this? Then he was like, Uncle Saul. I was like, oh, small, so, small boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, you poor man. What do you want from my WhatsApp? I mean, you've also written on your on your Facebook page, Hori, I'm a slave queen. What would I have? Why am I dealing with a poor man now yeah. on my WhatsApp? What do you want? And I told him anything you have, go ahead and post it. You don't even need to own a story. Run the story. Don't even come to me and say, there's what, there's what. No. Yeah, I think I'll get to this when we yeah. get to the... Let's get to the Pastor Piri um, story. So you... Before Pastor Piri, when did you meet Pastor Piri? When did you guys start dating? I met Pastor Piri last year, August on the 28th. Cause I was Just living, last year? 
last year. That's yes. Okay. <laughs> funny enough i'll tell you when we started dating yeah um so i had an event pastor p started talking to me months before my event when he was out of the country whatever so i met him last year i had an event then we stopped talking would talk months like two months would pass then he would check on me hey then he'd like please tell me when you're in job because at that mm. time i was in polokani then okay. like please um Tell me when you're in Joburg I'd like to interview you you know I'd like you to come to my show but funny enough any time I came to Joburg I didn't get the time okay you see so it f- was that thing we trying to meet and we don't meet he'll say okay let me come with my camera people to Polokwane and that still would not happen because we'd both both be busy highly free now I'm I'm busy yeah. yeah but you've been talking from last year August yes and no dating- from way we met ka august at my event for the first time yes for the okay. first time yes and then um you came to jo- joburg yes and i then- moved to joburg around may this year okay no oh are you just yes. new yes okay but home is here yes okay so guys just to give you context pastor piri is a famous pastor he's um televangelist what is it oh televangelist that means he preaches on tv yes. does that mean that He's a televangelist and he was on Ama Bishop. This is a show on Moja Love, I think. Mm. And he is a divorced man now. And yeah, so that's who we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So when you came to Joburg in May, when you started staying in Joburg, I heard because he went to Solomon's channel and said, you just moved inside his house. You know, you just took, you told him after you guys have just been speaking over the phone, you mm-hmm. told him that I can stack you like, bring a car so that you can come and get my stuff. No, the car that I wanted, it's when I was in Polokwane because a truck had came and take my things. I kept a few things at least to be comfortable okay. while I was still in Polokwane. Mm-hmm. So I said, bring the car to fetch my things in Polokwane, not in Joburg. So that whole thing, I don't know how they twisted it yeah i don't know how that happened mm. so you moved here into your own place not yes, his yes not his not his place no okay so at his place what we did we had a photo shoot yeah. so on the photo shoot that we did i had like over seven outfits that i had changed mm. changed to on the day and those clothes remained there even when i wanted him i think you saw my other video that i edited which one the one that you sent me Yes, where he said I left the clothes and didn't want to fetch them and on the video yes. I showed that he's the one he refused with the stuff that was left there. Okay, because I know that his child, okay, we'll get to the drama of your relationship, but I just want to firstly start about the beauty of the relationship. Mm-hmm. So you guys started being exclusive in May on the 17th of June. June is in like yesterday yes, more. Yes. Yes. <laughs> June 2023 2023 I'm telling you God's truth. <laughs> and then when did you guys take that photo shoot because there's a picture that you guys took like you are a married couple that have been married for 50 years. Beautiful picture that is That's the those are black. the clothes that were left there. It's um it's a photo shoot. Mm. That was the day of that photo shoot. I'm glad that at least you remember that. Yeah. Those clothes that were left there are the clothes of that photo shoot. Okay. Yes. So when did you guys take the photo shoot in June, May? In in June. I no, either in July, but yeah, either in July I'll check on my pictures. Okay. The date. I wanted to just play the thing yeah, hi, where he Did you also play it on your social media? Yes, I did. Okay. Um I don't know which one is this. You'll be coming there. You can be there for two days. Super song. Then I know which baby. Do you, do you hear? Mm-hmm. It's me sending him a message to say I'm coming to fetch the clothes or send your drug. He's like there's no way. Then on solo when he says I don't know. You were homeless and then the doctor <laughs> came and said. <laughs> ah, hey, okay. These people All came. right. Yeah. So this is when he was saying that you mustn't come and fetch your clothes. Yes. You guys will be okay and stuff. He was saying don't fetch the clothes so that when you come to my place. You can have clothes. You can have. Okay. You see. So all that nonsense he, he put there. I, I don't understand it. 
So how was you guys' relationship? Can you just tell us relationship wise? You were visiting him, he was visiting you, you guys were going out, you're going to church together. Tell us the beauty about that relationship. Because you guys really looked good together and it's like two divorced people that are trying to build. That was exactly that. Mm. Um, you know, when I met Pastor P, I was just at a point, yeah, you know what? I just need rest. Mm. There's a lot of things I've planned for this year. I don't want to be with someone who's going to stress me. Pastor Piri is hectically busy. Mm. He's always traveling. So I'm not going to have stress. Mm. Little did I know. That <laughs> the stress. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought for the first time, let me go for an older man. Yeah, you know, yeah. Older men are matured. You know, I, I had that vibe mm. going into that. to say, How old is he? He's 50. And how old are you? I'm 33. Okay, nice. <laughs> so I thought, let me go for an older man. I won't have drama. I won't have stress. Mm, you know, mm. my tata, abba, na, a, Also a divorced person, you know, you understand each other. I, and I think that's what he said that when he met you, he thought the same thing. That, yes. you know, what somebody who's divorced, somebody that I can build with, you know. So um, the relationship, you know, when you're a younger person, you're thinking, okay, this man will teach me things. You know, he's mm, been long in mm. ministry. He'll guide me. Business-wise. You know, also business-wise, he'd shed some light. Though our businesses are completely different. different. You know, he'll shed some light and whatever. Kanti, I'm there to, to be a mom. Were you mumming him? Yes. How All so? the, Through and through in everything. In like literally everything. I guess I, me being a mom is me bathing my kids, making sure that they get to yes, school, making sure that they're yes, eating. Make, yes. I will not have pizza pasta <laughs> pee. <laughs> you were not bathing pasta <laughs> pee. <laughs> Was a lot in the not even if I didn't have to do it literally, but I'd have to force him to say, you must bath and go to work. You must bath because you've got an interview. You must get ready. I know I've seen that you need to be in a podcast wherever. You know, when people drink, they sort of lose. So he drinks. I know that he spoke about his drinking. Does he? Re I thought it was just a publicity stunt or stuff. No. It was not. So he loses track of time. He loses He loses phones. He loses iPads. He loses laptops. So you have to mother the person. Wherever they are, had to have a phone, you must take it and keep it by you. <laughs> Check everything. Kaki, keep it by you. You know, you know, with drinking, I think it's beyond a person. I don't think if there's anything you can control, you can actually let it go that far. I think people who find themselves in a spiral of addiction yeah. need help do you think he's addicted to alcohol he's not just i drink alcohol but i don't you won't see me on the floor or what or not losing my stuff i drink though so are you saying that when he drinks he or he can't stop drinking as well yes so that's why even on the other podcast i said he needs help and i'm still willing to help him but does the church know this about him? He came out and said that about him. The only way the church would have the proof or no, it's when he does not pitch on Sundays, like Diladalana, mm. where he doesn't pitch in church, then I think that would be like their red flag to say, mm. Does know? he have a big church? I think he used to have a big church. And people are like, mm -mm, Fundis. You know, with everything, I believe, especially where humans are concerned, yeah. but who they are not God, mm. people will get tired of you, even though God gives you a second chance. Yeah. You can get a hundredth chance with God, but people won't give you a second 100%. chance. Yeah, so I think when Harry Zadilo, we always need to have that thing. These are people, sinners like me. Why would I expect grace from sinners? Mm. You see, mm. with me, I think that's how I run my life. Any person who takes their data and comments on me, they're a sinner. Yeah. And they are saying is nothing to me. Mm. Mm. It doesn't affect me. You know, funny enough, last week, a lot of people like, oh, mama Ruto Yang, what were you um, wearing? I was wearing a short blue dress. Okay. Right. Um, and for me, I don't just do bot podcasts. I don't just do ministry. Mm. <laughs> There's so many things I do. So from mm. one meeting, I have to be chasing something else. Yeah. I won't be sitting in the car changing outfits the whole day. So what I wear for the day, I'll I'll do everything else I need to do with 
But the also, same is outfit. it wrong for okay? Maybe because I don't think you wore something that comes here. No, I if can't. But I would also, wear do something that like just ninety stretch marks. Maybe yeah. I start out with a little bit of smooth. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so even the funny thing is, a lot of people who came and commented to say, "Imagine you need to be saved. You don't have God. You are a Jezebel." What? When I went to their profiles, some of them they're. <laughs> Profile pictures were them in bathing suits in in a beach. Some of them, you go into their page. Someone is literally wearing a short, and I was like, "These people are sick. Mm. I'm not gonna entertain them. Even now, I am not gonna entertain no, sinners to. trying to be holy." Yes. No way. And your car is moving. Their car has yes. stopped parking. At you. Their dog's waiting. Yes, they're just promoting parking. me. I'm yes. getting so many followers. Yeah. They're attending to me while I'm attending to my own, to life, own life. While doing my purpose, they're mm. attending to me. Mm. And pointing, because even other people that didn't know me, when they share the video thinking they're throwing shade, people mm. follow me. And mm. when they get to my page, they don't find any of the things those people say. Say, yeah. Mm. And... You know, I think you still haven't answered me when I asked you. When you started coming to Johannesburg full time, I want you to run me down your relationship with Pastor with Piri. Pastor Piri. What okay. kind of a relationship did you have on a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Sunday? You know, what kind of a relationship did we, you guys have? We would go. Pastor Piri spends a lot of time also with his brother. And we would go. And Blood eat. brother. Yes. Who I'm very close with. Even I think on Sunday he called me, checking up on me. I said, no, I'm fine. You Does know? he have a church of his own? He also is a church of his own. He's okay. a marital officer or something. Okay. He's a marriage okay. officer. Marriage yes. officer. Marriage officer. So me and him are quite close. Even after the whole podcast, he still called me. He said, I saw the podcast. You had to share your story. So mm. we'd go out, we'd eat. I'd visit Pastor Piri. Mm. We'd meet wherever we want to meet. If I'm doing something in Senton and he's also there, we'd then meet up because we are both busy people. Mm. Mm. So I heard there on the podcast, he said that you guys never got intimate. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Um, it's because for me personally, I'm, I'm coming from a certain path where I'm saying to God, I'm willing to start afresh. I'm willing now to really, really, when I say I'm doing the right things, yeah. I'm, I'm at that stage of my life. Or and in. and I don't even want to prove it to anyone. You see with social media people, you'll see people, someone posting, I'm one month celibate, I'm two months. I, this is not a public journey. Yeah. It's a personal thing for me. That's why I don't even go out there and say, I, I'm not intimate with anyone. It's no one's business. How Who, long have you been celibate though? I can't Or really are you remember. celibate? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> I am. And I want Solomon to go and dig out men who say, who I claim. This yes, one. yes. I want them to come. You see. So how long has it been? This year, you've never had sex or maybe from March, whatever. Not really from this year. I wouldn't say from this okay. year. I would say from, it's a decision I made late last year. Yes. Okay. All right. So before Piri, who were you dating? I was dating someone... Also because of his career. Actually, you know, the doctor? Really, yes, the doctor. Bamuteri and, you know, his name is all over. And that's someone who, he does have Facebook and whatever, but he's not active. Yeah. He's got no followers. He doesn't follow people. He's just there. So I feel bad to just drag people. Mm. You know, Tabang was good to me. Yeah. Me and him had a beautiful relationship. Hi, Dr. Tabang. <laughs> <laughs> we had a beautiful beautiful relationship in my life i would say that's the person tawang is very young mm. ne? he's How young. young no i like not young young but as okay but that's a man who came into my life and act like a dad like oh, wow. tabang when i walk with him on the street he holds my hand oh, he wow. he's a person who'll say leave your car at work for a long time he'll pick me up and drop me huh. he was like what happened to the relationship then? What he, did okay, because I had a lot of things that I was doing in Joburg. He was in Polokwane and I was also in Polokwane. Mm. But I had a lot of ministry things I was doing in Joburg. So I would travel. It happened on one instance. I went to his place and I left my car there. Mm. And I used um, a king shuttle. Mm -hmm. Um when I returned, I found things in my car. I found so much proof that he had been with someone okay. and also used my car on that whole thing. And for me, 
I could not. He mm. really tried that we you see the problem with cheating mm. is that after a person cheats there's something also that happens to you mm-hmm. even if you say to them i've forgiven you but yeah. you change you become vile mm. mm-hmm. so i did not want to be that person tabang is a nice person his mm-hmm. family loved me his brothers loved me his mother loves me you know yeah. he also loved me and he Done, he's done a lot of things For that you. showed that he loved you. Yes, but after that, and I'm, mm. unfortunately, when I get into relationships, I don't cheat. Mm. So when he cheated, he broke a lot of things in me. That in you. yes. Ah mm. man, mm. hope you guys meant things because now Pastor Pirage almost. <laughs> okay, mommy. So now you guys dated from sort of like me, you guys being full time. Mm-hmm. And then he has a wife, Pastor Pierre. Now we're talking about Pastor Pierre. Mm-hmm. So he has a wife. You said on the podcast, um, okay, he said on, on Solomon's podcast that you held him hostage at some point of your relationship for five hours. And you also locked his room. First, before you held him hostage, you locked his room mm-hmm. for days. And then where I did not even understand why didn't he broke the doors to get in. And also you then held him hostage for five hours until the police came. Imagine. What happened? Okay, on that day, I went to his house because I got a call that I was uncomfortable with. So I went to his house. I found him there. And when I got him, I felt like, okay, this person, the way he is now, Mm. (laughs) like it's not a person that I can question Mm. about anything because hashabu, like he was out of it. Like literally he was... Very what do you drunk. mean? He was very drunk. So does this pastor always drink? Like, oh no, okay. From okay. So, so me holding him, let me explain. Maybe story bit to bit, story sa high when he says I held him hostage. Mm. Me holding him hostage. You must see Pastor Pierre's body, see my body. Mm, what would it take for me to hold a big man like that hostage? Oh, maybe because he was drunk. Yes. Then you can overpower him. Yeah, maybe. So he, me holding him hostage is him wanting to drive away at this state. Who's that uh, other person? No, I won't play it on, on, oh, okay. on the camera. No, no, no. Can you see? You can check other videos as well. Okay. Tell me if you were saying your brother or your husband or your boyfriend or... What is he drinking? This drink? What is this drink? Is this a savannah? Yes. So tell me if you were saying and someone said to you, I'm driving away. Look at that. Would you allow it? Is that why you're saying that you were mumming him? Because yes. that's what you do to your son. Yes. That yes. you're not going. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Were you going to allow him to drive? No, if I loved him, I wouldn't. Exactly. So that was not hostage. It was me protecting him and other drivers on the on the road. Wow, like, look at that. So who are these men that are the security? Okay, these are the estate securities that he called. And I just want, you know, sometimes to play things because someone, one pastor said on, on the podcast, yeah, the other podcast, you kept saying you'll play the videos, you won't play. Because on Solomon's podcast, mm. um, he claims that I, what did he claim? He claimed that I took the keys and I put it in your private yes. part. So I want you to, I just want to clarify that even the securities here were talking to me. Okay, you can play it there. You can you play see? it on the mic. Okay. Oh. I... So where's the key room? It's with me. Hmm? It's with me and I've got a reason why. Well, you You see, there's no point where they were forceful trying Mm -hmm. to get the key from me where I would need to hide. They were just asking, where's the key? And I told them, the key is with me. There was no point where they were like handling me, (laughs) trying to grab it. Like, I mean, He said you took the key? And you put it inside your private part. <laughs> uh, my <laughs> private <laughs> part that I love so much that I don't give to him. <laughs> I mean, some things, you know, na, one thing I've realized with online people, they don't like to apply their brain. Mm. They don't like to apply knowledge. Mm. When someone says something, think of it as well, Hori. One plus this, one. 
does it make sense mm. he he locked the, she locked the door left hold me hostage those things the sequence as well he yeah. he says it in does it make sense so but then if you were trying to help him so much because now what i'm getting from you remember this is your narrative mm. and what i'm getting from you is that you've always tried to help him you always. know why do you think now he went Or is it because you went to because he says on the podcast that you told Madam Speaker you we went out with the story with Madam Speaker. Okay. And then that's why he went to the podcast no, to speak about it. No, I went it. to Madam Speaker because he first went to the the papers went to him or he went to the papers, I don't know. And then there's an article that came out that then said, insecure what yes, what. Let, you know I promise I'm a lot of things but insecure mm. is far 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 like I will never even be insecure in my next life so and him saying I'm insecure yet to me he's saying something completely different and I think also on that podcast yeah madam speaker I played for you guys Hori what he's saying is not true I'm a lot of things but not insecure like other people can even attack me but I'm full of full myself of but not insecure Let me just play. But you know journalists they just write this big headings just so they catch people's I don't, I don't think he said you're insecure because he know. I told you that there are various reasons why I love you and one of those reasons you are very confident in yourself. No very very, yourself. very number three, He you, is you, aware. You He's aware of my confidence. Mm -hmm. So he went there to portray me like an insecure girl. Weak girl. Yeah, an insecure weak no. Not me. <laughs> Not me. So when I went to Madam Speaker, it was just to clear that thing to say okay. what he's saying is not true. The thing with Pastor Piri on that same night, yeah. while after the securities left, I had his phone. Even mm. before they came, I had his phone. Mm. And I was going through the phone. So him going to the papers and to Solomon, mm. he thought things that I saw on his phone. What did you see? Some... Some things are very confidential because mm. it's things that have got to do with South African politicians, Zambian politicians, other politicians in other countries, right? So he thought, nah. You're going to expose those I'm going to expose that for what? Mm. He seems like a serious person, Pastor Pierre. He is a serious person and mm. he's the only person who treats himself like a non-serious person. <laughs> Pastor Piri always has fear of people judging him, fear of people not liking him, but he actually doesn't understand how resourceful and how wise and intelligent God has made him. And how people take him. And how people talk take to him. politicians and presidents, that means they take you. They take you serious. So, mm. Yene, he's the only person who brings himself down. One man of God said to me, God is choosing Piri to live and Piri has stopped living. He's taking his own life, literally. Mm. Mm. Yo, and you said on one of your interviews that um, I think it was during the hostage drama that the wife came with the child or something like that. Or is it a different day? No, it was on a different day. Yeah. Um, what happens is that Pastor Piri's daughter, I will say this on record, runs Pastor Piri's life. So but what, 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 what let is, me just get to, to okay, the cool, details. Cool. Sometimes when you, I've got a dad that mm, I love. And mm. also when he moved on with his other family, mm. I couldn't take it. Right. Yeah. So she runs the father's life. And mm. here is someone threatening. And I don't know how would you as a child feel threatened over your position. Yeah. Because with her one thing is that even if i'm there when she comes should caress the father you see like caress the like, father daddy i love you Mwah. what you see that's the relationship they have she runs the father's life the father's banking apps are on her phone so anytime the dads need something she would transfer the money yes so they have that close relationship so i don't know what about me put her off that she always felt the need even on my instagram she'd send me messages all the time and say what? where's my father if the father doesn't answer but i care maybe as an antiquity no she knows that if she can't get the dead no she can already, there's a way a disrespectful manner yes okay. in a disrespectful manner mm. i you know even on this other let me show you this let me quickly before i i yeah. you see No, no. Let me quickly get the. Yes, I'm a receipt. 
people bring receipts. Yes, to their that's the thing. Bring receipts, pick, or else if you don't have receipts, people will forever consider you to be a liar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And I think the fact that he went public in that manner, you in know, he manner. went in a very, very deep manner. And yes, I'm like, you I'm see this. Me. This is a video call. This is Pastor Piri's son. Do you want to? Yeah, you can show that I don't have a problem. Oh, no, I don't think we have, um, because it's, no, that's fine. Okay, who's this? That's Pastor Piri's son. Oh, where are you going? We got Kuluma now in your video call. Yes, because mm. I've never had issues with Pastor Piri's son or the other daughter, the middle one. Mm. We've never had issues. My issues have always been with the elder daughter. Well, not so I the just first born. the firstborn, yeah. because in one instance, I was at P- Pastor Piri's house. I went to collect something because I was going to an event. Mm. Then Pastor Piri said, sit there and wait for my kids. They are, they are coming there. Mm. They want to see you before they go. Okay. And you know what happened? She mm. she was on a video call. She was on a video call with the somebody. The old one. The old one. Mm. She was on a video call with somebody. And she. I guess she didn't put the phone on silent, showing the person who I am. Oh. And the person was like, Woo, but you, you see... From then, I knew that it's a problem. we're going to have a problem. I told the father that, ask her, she was on a video call with somebody showing me. And the father said, no, I'll speak to her. Right? Mm. So it's always been that thing. Hasa Papa Hai, she would come to my Instagram. Do you think she is jealous of you or what? I don't know. I'm not. Are you the same age or almost? No. She is, she is 20 something. She's 20. One twenty-two, oh, no, whatever. You see, the way she would say it, hey, dude, I'm looking for my father. You see, so from there, I knew that this is not a person I want to be close with, or I want. I just want her to be there, and for me to be there mm. when the time is right. Maybe we will, we will merge, whatever. And funny enough, Pastor piri has got a second daughter mm. that a lot of people feel like she's not friendly. She's serious. She's whatever. Even the other. The other brother, while Pastor Piri said, if you get along with this one, then, then you, I you don't are in the know family. where you are bathing. Like, cause this one, even with us, she she is just a reserved person, mm. right? So we've always had that issue here, me and the elder. Yeah. Mm. I think maybe um you spoke about how um I thought when you were saying she's caressing her father, I, I I thought it was just in an inappropriate way because you are there. Maybe she's trying to take your, I love my dad, but I won't caress him. I will hug him. I'll do all those things, but I won't do it in a way that the next person who's dating my dad will feel a certain way. No, yeah, no, she literally runs her father's life, literally. And the father can come out here and say, I'm lying. Which there is no, won't. which yes. they, 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 for me, there is no issue with, my daughter running her father's life or me running my dad's life because I think I'll do that as well, you know, especially if my dad and my mom would divorce, you know, and I know that my dad has got responsibilities. He's a pastor. He's got this, he's got this. He's gullible. He can just run into everyone and people Mm. can take advantage of him. I think the daughter is coming from that perspective, especially even because I heard Pastor Piri saying that you've got an issue with um, the, that, the fact that the child runs his finances, I would run my dad's finances, mm-hmm. you know, but I know because I'm a wife as well. If I would date someone whose child run, it's like a, a thing. I'll, I'm going to feel a certain it's unusual. way. It's unusual. But I think the and way. Sometimes unusual is not wrong. Sometimes she unusual is not wrong. The way you presence. are worried about mm. Pastor Pierre being your boyfriend, just your boyfriend. Imagine the child worried about the dad because they are worried, but they don't have, they don't sleep with their dad. They don't have that power that you have. So, but you don't sleep with Pastor Pira as well. But they don't have that intimate relationship with their dad. The only thing they can do, they can only control like finances. And if let I'm me tell you something, him, Pastor Piri. Mm. He's a giver. He's mm. a, and a lot of people do take advantage of that part of him. Yeah. Especially Anuile. Obviously, they yeah. would come and ask for favors and do whatever. When I met Pastor Piri, him and the wife were not fighting. Mm-hmm. Ne? But they were not close. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So after me and Pastor Piri came out, she started now being wanting to be close with Pastor Piri. Oh. Right? Because Pastor Piri said to me, she said there are prophets who gave her prophecies that um she must fix her marriage. Her marriage will still work out. 
Who told you that? Pastor Piri. That the wife told him that? Yes. Okay. So on one time we we're in Midrand, mm. the first instance we we're in Midrand, um, we we're having lunch mm. with Pastor Piri's brother and some of Pastor Piri's friends, mm. right? So Pastor Piri received a call and this call was from the ex-wife and mm. he was shocked. She said she's stuck in Pretoria with a car and Pastor Piri was like, okay, what does that have to do with me? Like, yeah. like okay. I don't... Ngenapi, yes. you understand. But I'm he asked me, he asked me, would you have a problem if I helped her? I said, no, if she's stuck, then you can help her. Luckily, the driver was there. Mm. So we said to the driver, she can drive, he, the driver, can drive to Pretoria mm. and help her. So when she heard the driver was coming and not Pastor Piri, she said she's sorted. Huh. That was the first incident. She said she sorted because Pastor Piri called the daughter even there and said, your mom said she's stuck. And she said, no, she also called me. Then that was the first instance. Mm. So I would realize, Hurnoman, from that night, from that day, mm. the calls kept getting more. Like, okay. And you know, umubita in a way, Hore, um, I'm friend. Like constantly. So one day when she called, I was with Pastor Piri and mm. I said, hey, you guys are annoying. And he said, I'm also tired. Take the call. Ha. Huh. Yes. Then you so, took Pastor Piri's call. I answered the call. She said, hey, can I talk to Enoch? I said, no, he is here, but he doesn't want to talk. Then she said, no, I'm worried about him because I've been trying to call him. Mm. And uh, he he's not taking my call, so I'm worried. Yeah. Then I said, no, I don't think that's your place to worry about him. Huh? If Yes. With the Sarah. No. The liver. No. Like, cause if I'm someone's ex, mm. he's got a family, he's yeah. got, you know. Yeah. So I said to him, if anything goes wrong, I'll call his brother, his younger brother mm. or his elder brother. Mm. I talked to Par Pastor Piri's mother. Nah. How Mara Pastor Piri there said, um, firstly, really about the, the wife, that him and the wife have got a very tight relationship when the, the woman is stuck because now the car issue is like the other way around. It's like, no, when he he's didn't stuck, go there. He's the first person to, he never went him. there. She, he's never been stuck unless he can show us, he can bring us something. Um, on the family thing, ne? And on the family thing as well, he said, if you are serious with someone, you'll make them meet your family. Yes. As if you don't know anything about your family. No, 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 the no, same no. way you are hiding your family or you don't have a family or something like that. Mm. Ish, I, I want, I want, ish, I don't know where I put this thing now, mm. but it was a voice note from him. Okay, let me rather show you. see this? This is Pastor Piri. This is me. This is a Zambian number. It's his mother's number. Oh, he's a Zambian man. Let me see. Yes. We speak. Oh, this is a three-way call. Yes. So this is the mom. That's the mom. And that's you, this Pastor Peter, on yes. a call. But then can I ask you this? Why mm. do you take footage of stuff? You know, for me, I love creating content, mm. right? Now people know, if you follow me, I love creating content. Yeah. I love keeping memories. Mm. So some of these memories were, was not even to use maliciously. It was just to create those reels, yeah. to create content. So are you going to create a, a reel with this three-way course? Yes, like me, the mom, Mommy you know. And stuff. Okay. Yes, because okay. me and Pastor Piri, we never spoke of breaking up. Mm. That was not the plan, mm. right? I speak to the mother not because we are planning to break up. Yeah. So I love creating reels. If you follow me, mm. you check my stories, you check I create reels, I create content about everything okay. except for Banavaga. Mm. Mm. You see, even like this, when I talk to him on a call, I, I do, I screen grab, then I make videos. Some of the videos I'd send to him, then he'd be mm. like, oh, this is so beautiful. Hey, Marilyn, nice. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Thank you. Hey. So on that day, mm. I spoke to her. I said, no, Piri doesn't want to talk, right? And she was like, no, I understand you are fighting for your spot. I said, I'm not fighting for it. I'm giving it. Yeah. Oh. I'm not, there's a difference in yeah. fighting for something. Even though I went, got into Piri's life, yeah. I found these other women. He even publicly, um, what's the word that are bundles of English which one confessed or no what? he publicly expressed 
his love for me. Oh, so yes. I've never been fighting for a spot in Pastor Perry. He constantly gave me a spot. And I think you are the only woman in my yes. books that I know with yes. Pastor Perry. Yes, there's someone who came and said to me, I've been with Pastor Perry for 10 years. Is the Google lady yes. that you spoke about. But who's this Google? Is, it, is she a musician or what? I don't know her. I've never, I've, I don't know her. The first time I heard the name was when she called me. But apparently she's a singer. I don't even know a single song from her. I don't know her. So... She's been with Pastor Pierre for 10 years, yes. but Pastor Pierre has not been divorced for 10 years. Yes. So that means he, she was dating Pastor Pierre when he was married. That's what she says. And then now Pastor Pierre, okay, Pastor Pierre now left his marriage, but still did not go exclusive with him and went to you and been exclusive That's with you. That's the thing of being a side chick. Side chick think, like in the mind of a side chick is that I'm going to destroy this man's marriage so that when he leaves the wife, he'll marry me. If you're a side chick, you're a side chick, you will be because that's the position that's you've so chosen for yourself. Mm. It's There's no guarantee that one day you'll be someone's wife. Mm. So going into other people's relationships, breaking their relationships with hopes that you're going to be a main chick no. or a wife. If a man has chosen you for a position, they'll keep you in that position. And Pastor Piri said there, Go Solomon, he was what with Gugu? He's a business person. Google has been there for him in his down times and yes. stuff. Yes. How? Because on the other hand, he said Google was his mentee. He was mentoring mm, He Gugu. was mentoring her. Yes. Yeah. And then listen to what he says to me. Okay. Ka Google. Ka mm -hmm. The side chick. I think uh, you don't understand the relationship that I have uh, with uh, Ugugu. Yeah, Ugugu stood with me when I was going through divorce at the most painful part of my life. Well, she was there. And I made it very clear with her that marriage is not where I'm getting to. And uh, my relationship with her has been um, that relationship where there's that understanding. That's the so you, your mentee, you had to make it clear to your mentee that you're not going to marry her. <laughs> so what make was the it make sense about <laughs> make it make sense okay. so these people have been in a relationship mm. and like pastor piri says he has made it clear to her that listen you are here but i'm not gonna marry you so even when gugu saw that pastor piri went public with me i don't think she should have called fought yeah, me because just... even in their private space mm. they pastor piri is saying we have an understanding oh it's a situation. Yes. The situation. Yes. They have that silly understanding. Why would you as a woman want to put yourself in things like that? But Someone. she's a gospel singer. Do you know Khelosha? Yes. I know. <laughs> you guys are going, I'm making us just go astray. But like. the thing with that, now promise I will always, the thing is, there's a lot of women who follow me. I host events. And funny thing is, I'm not going to sit here and be an angel. I'm mm. far from that. Mm. God chose me where I didn't choose God. God chose me. If it was according to me, now I would be pursuing beauty things, doing modeling, modeling and all of that. And when I accepted the calling, I didn't accept perfection. Mm. I accepted God help me. Because mm. I think every day my prayers, mm. guide me into this thing that you have called me into. Mm. And when people come and say, no, baruti it's sometimes you need to understand that when I call you into salvation, I don't call you into my personal life. Mm. I call you into Christ. Yeah. Christ who is perfect. Mm. The very same Christ that daily I am trying to pursue. To, to pursue. That's why even the Bible says, he who... who who says they've got no sin is a liar. Mm. So as you are watching me, you're a liar. As mm. you sit here, you, you are a sinner. All of us, anyone watching me now, all of us are a sinner according to the word of God. So I always even share my stories with my girls to say, girls, don't do this. I've been here. It has burned me. Mm. People think when you do things, you must come to them. No, you are not my tribe. Mm. There are people I talk to. There are people I can sit and be naked with and say, promise, this is what I'm going through. Mm. This is why I am. But I'm yeah. not going to come to you. You're not my helper. Yeah. You're not my pastor. You're not my therapist. But you know, I fully understand what you're saying. I agree with you fully. But I truly, truly believe that 
you guys, you use this loosely. Like a lot of pastors, just like Pastor Peer goes out and say, yeah, I've got a weakness. I've exposed myself already about my weakness of drinking, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I think you use that loosely and you don't hold yourself accountable. accountable. And mm. also you don't realize that you are with me now. Mm. You are a prophetess. I'm not a prophetess. Mm. You know, you are in a different office than I am. Mm -hmm. So there are things that they can go by more now. More on, on your side, they can not always go by. I think we need to understand the responsibility that comes with the office of of Christ or the office of the church. You know, that yes, you are human. God himself knows that you are human. Okay there. Can we go on? No, no, go on. Okay. Oh, okay. God himself knows that you, you are... You are you are you are you are a human being. You're going to make mistakes, but now everyone is just coming publicly to say, "I am a pastor. I'm drinking. Hey, what, 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 but I'm taking people to Christ. We must focus on Christ." That's just being so irresponsible. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that as I'm Ungosa Zana, that I need to really manage and not always be seen in a life in, in a in a bad light. Even though people are just pushing you, you did not take yourself out there to speak mm -hmm. about your business, you know. But now people are using things loosely like, no, I'm leading you to Christ, but I'm a human, what not? No. Understand the office that you are operating and understand mm -hmm. that there are baby Christians that are just watching you Giddy monkey see monkey do. They are baby Christians. Not everyone is a, a hard person yes, that yes. knows salvation or and what you say right. The Bible says, um, to whom much is given, much, much is, is expected, expected, right? I'm not saying I'm going to live a 100% bad life, mm. but I am saying I will fall, fall short. 100%. That's why the grace of God is there to pick me up. Mm. Now I've always been a person who, who lives my life because I hate being fake. Mm. I've never come out and say, hey, I'm holy or what. That's why even when I was with Tabang, I was public. Mm. And I always said, why should I hide from you what God already knows about me? Mm. God is our helper and he'll continue to help us. Yeah. Right? 100%. We are we still not gonna, we are not gonna live a loose life, mm. but we are not come out, we are not gonna come out and it's be fake. Perfect, yeah. Yes, because there are some people when they face challenges, they kill themselves. You know why? Mm. I'm the only sinner. Mm. So if you know that there's other people who have also fell and God helped them, mm. why should you kill yourself? Yeah, mm. I, I get what you're saying. Yes, the rod for, for leaders, not just in Christianity, mm. is harder. But let's also not give a false, a lie. Yeah. Leave a liar. Oh, you know, holy, yeah, holy. Holy. and I promise, let me tell you something. I'm a woman. Mm. I love being in a relationship. Mm. And even I'm still going to be in a relationship. Bazalan, I want to make this clear <laughs> with you guys. Even you, I minister to women 90%. Mm. After I minister to you, even if it's not caressing, you've got mm. someone you can relate Go to. to why do you think why should my failed relationship be a silencer? Mm. I'm not going to be silent because I failed a relationship. Mm. You can go where you want to go. I will never stop talking about God. I will never stop preaching. I will never stop um, helping other women who are broken yeah. because I've got a failed relationship. 100%. And uh, let me tell you, I've got my standard. There are certain things I want. Mm. Every person, you've got your deal breaker. Mm. You've got your deal breaker. Me and Tabang, when we met, we had said our deal breaker, one, is cheating, two, mm. is toxicity, mm. right? Mm. So when we got to that, then it the has to end. Ended. So Linna, as a person, as you are saying, Kimamu Ruti or a prophetess, a woman of God, I have my standards. Mm. So if I feel like I have my standards and I meet you and I love you mm. and you show things that I know are against my principles, there are things we can bend, but on principles, we don't joke, mm. right? Mm. Why should I continue my relationship? We promise because I'm scared, Hore, the public are going to say I failed. I failed. No, I'd rather fail now than drag then this thing drag for three years. 10 I years and no, no. Yeah. If I see something I don't want, let me come out now before more things happen. Yeah. Mm. And people will just hold you ho hostage over stuff. You, that one thing <laughs> about me, promise, I know my place in God so much that there is no human being who can manipulate me or talk me out or threaten me or bully me. You nah. and me. <laughs> me and you are the same. Nah, you you can't. can never bully me. Like I told you, mm. it was hot. I came from Pumalanga. Yeah. I was wearing a short dress, mm. promise. And 
the weather was bad. I had yeah. to change. I wore that dress because I will show you guys, you are not going to bully me. Go where <laughs> you want. You are just going to do. And you see these people, they won't even come with those comments on my page. Yeah, no. They'll do them out there. Out there. Not to me. Because you block them. Not to me, Standard yeah. Sam. You, are, you will never bully me. You will do everything. You'd rather stay, not attend my conference, but bully me. Mm-mm. Never. Okay, madam. And I think... You have covered um, everything, actually. I think you have covered everything. Um, we've had your side. We've had Pastor Pierre's side. If people still want to say their side, we've got platforms. Just come with the truth. You, you know, know what because, I desire, I promise? Yeah. I desire to go on a podcast with Pastor Piri. I yes. think that's my ultimate desire to I'll say, organize that. Please do. I'll call him. You'll give me. I got his number this other time, but maybe I've got like a ministry number or whatever because you guys have got multiple numbers. I will contact him. After this, you'll give me his, his I thing. think after this, mm. me and you, let's call the brother. Let's call the brother and organize I know the that. brother is with him. Mm. And then I will call him also yeah. now. And then, is he willing? Yes. Because... I, I cannot sit okay. here and tell so much lies. Mm. He cannot be there and tell lies. Let's but I come. think, you know what? I think the sitting won't be he said, she said, because you've already said and he said. Mm. I want you guys to sit down and let it be like a mending session, even though you don't be in a relationship no, after. No, you know, me and Pastor Piri, mm. even after this whole thing, we're not fighting. But He was in Switzerland two, three days ago. His brother called me. They always... Tell me, okay, this is what I'm doing. We are not fighting. So but he's what I want. With, okay, what do you want? What I want, it's for us both to be in a space where we come and tell our truth. The truth has one side. I think you guys will sit on the couch and speak. Mm. And if we've so got, nice. that will be so nice. And mm. if we have uh, uh, questions, we'll ask you guys, but you will be two here on the camera speaking. I, I would love that. We'll call them after this. <laughs> <We'll-> <laughs> <laughs> look at nice. I think it will be nice. And Let me try and call the brother. I w- I just want to hear yeah. what he will say, ne? Mm. And it will also put, you know, sometimes when you shake hands at the end, you mm. know, because people are so glad, are so happy. He's saying this, you are saying this. He's saying this. He's talking about private party. You are talking about drinking. So if you guys are sitting down, let's mm. have We're calling the brother now. Just to try and organize. The mic. My in law. My in law, how are you? I'm fine, thanks, and how are you? I'm okay. I just want to alert you. Uh, you are on camera, ne? You are on record. I just wanted to ask you a favor. There's a lady who invited me for a podcast. Remember I told you that there are podcasts okay. that I'm going to be doing. So we, me and her were suggesting, Ukuti, how about you organize a sitting of me and Pastor Piri where we can just put this thing to bed? Mm. To, to do what? To put this whole thing to bed because there's a lot of... She said, I said, what? So don't you think mm. if we sit after the meeting, we will have, and then we all sit and, and just talk. clear this whole thing? Mm. Mm, could be a good idea. Okay, you'll talk to him, ne? Uh, could be a good idea. Yeah, I'll talk to him. And uh, besides that, remember, I said you guys, we need to talk. You yes, remember? please talk to them. They must fix their relationship. They need to... Mm. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, even over the what is today? I'm I'm thinking it's, it's Monday, Tuesday. you see. It's Tuesday. Not Monday today. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, over the weekend, let me just say that over the weekend I've been talking to him over the same. And uh, definitely I'm I'm receiving a positive uh, response. Uh, I think uh, just a matter of time. I think uh, any time during this week that we can uh, sit down. Okay, my bishop, my in-law. <laughs> Where are you? I'll probably come past by there after the, the, the shoot. No problem, no problem. Just be there, let me know. Okay, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. All the best. Bless you. My so in-law. we'll do that. We'll have the sitting and... You must. You know what, Ne? I think I'll have a special place in heaven if I fix this thing. 
you know? No, not fix the relationship. No, 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 not fix the relationship. I mean, I fix the, the you guys sitting, not mm-hmm. like fix the relationship. Like, take you guys to sit down, like mm-hmm. to fix the sitting. Mm-hmm. I have a special place because even though the relationship doesn't happen, but there will be a kumbaya at the end of this thing. And a lot of people Let are going to... Let me tell you to, something I said also in the previous podcast. Yeah. Pastor Piri is not a fighter. He doesn't even look like a fighter. He's not a fighter. Mm. He's a panicker. Mm. Right? Mm. So when he panics, he does things that he thinks will... Save him save in that him. moment. That's the problem. Okay. He's not a fighter. The man can, is not a he fighter. A man, he needs a woman then in his life. Such a person needs a woman to... Call him because men, most men are not fighters. Mm. They are strong, yes, but they are not fighters. I suppose when they're in trouble, you they panic like, and they they try, they try and, to do yeah. all those things that will actually just mm. bring the house down. Exactly. You know. So I, man, you know what? I think you know what. I'm so happy. I hope this thing happens. You let me know. This will be available for you guys to sit down. Kaswabishin Satani Prophetess and Pastor Piri. You know, <laughs> because people would die to see you guys apart. Like, we would kill to see you to guys see apart. Us apart. Yes. One of the this things. This one speaks there. This one speaks there. They you know be. why people enjoy me being far from Ruti Piri? Because mm. I was that line. I don't know. I could hear even the brother. Re- yeah, he, he wants you guys to be okay because you've just been that voice of reason in his brother's life. That's it. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, please tell us um, about your. Is, is there any pajama prayer sessions that you are holding soon that people can come? Where should they get? You? I actually, can you join our next one? It's next week, Friday, it's it's Where is in it? Center. Where is it? 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 So just to clear the whole pyjama thing, yes. these are girl session mm. with every woman. You are a married woman now, mm. but there's still a girl within you 100%. that sometimes wants to come out and mm. reach out and cry mm. and be hugged. Yeah. So that that's all the sessions are about. We okay. share the word of God. We pray. Um, if you see, I don't put anything publicly that the women share. It's mm. our safe space. Mm. Even me, I rent about my personal things there yeah. and we pray, we eat, we have marshmallows, we have sweets. Mm. We just have girls' time mm. in the presence of God. Mm. So our next one is going to be in Santon on the 29th. Mm. Then on, on the, the 29th is this week, this mm. Friday. Oh my God, I've got an event. Okay, when is the next one? I, I want to come at night. Mm. The event starts at five. Oh, yeah. It's, okay. a def- it's actually also in Sentin, but definitely I'm coming to the next one. When is the next one? The next one is on the 6th, 6th of October in Rustenburg. Oh my God, then so we've far. got the 13th of October in Whitbank. Mm-hmm. Then we've got the 20th of October in, in Midrand. Midrand at Pastor Piri's church. And then we have the, um, we have the 27th. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, 27th in Port Elizabeth. Okay. Right. Maybe I'll join the my family, my su- sisters and brother are working in Rustenburg. Either I'll go to the Rustenburg one or the Midrand one. But I'm coming to that would either be, that. That would be nice. Ne? Mm. I'm going to meet your girls, your ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because also, I just want to go back to my prayer life. I was a prayerful person. That Mount Zion knew me yeah. very well. Really? It, yes. it happens. We All of us, we get to a yes. space where that prayerfulness is stolen. But right. one thing about God, he's not like people. You mm. can go back to him anytime. Yeah. Now, if you had me once or twice, I'm out. But mm. with God, you could be gone for a hundred years. When you come back, he would always he, he'll say, always come. come. Yes, God is yeah. always waiting for us to repent. He's yeah. always waiting for us to come back. Mm. And I've said, and I'll say it again, even on the private, post, previous podcast, podcast, I said that Pastor Piri has got a hundred percent chance to come back in ministry and mm. be who God said he was before his divorce, before drinking, before anything. Um, this weekend I was just speaking to other people, talking about the issue that um there is promise. Mm. Before the fall, yeah. there is Pastor Piri before the fall. There's mm. truly before. The, there's everyone. When you were born, the purity that you carried, mm. you can always return back to that. Yeah. And no one can hold it against you. Mm. Okay, mommy. So people can find you on TikTok as Prophetess? No, on TikTok, it's Ngosazana Live Content. Ngosazana. Even on my Facebook, it's just Ngosazana Tuli. Live Content. And mm. then on Instagram, it's Prophetess Tuli. It's Prophetess Ngosazana. Yeah. Guys, please follow her and join women 
you'll meet me at one of these okay you guys already had you'll meet me at one of these pyjama events i'm definitely coming before maybe on the 20th of october or the rest and let me one. tell you something promise about mm. these pyjama nights mm. the grace that god has done for us sometimes 50% it's people who are not born again mm. it's women who are saying either i was born again mm. and something happened in church exactly like said baba rudi yeah. or i hated yeah. church they people who've not been to church in 10 years this is their safe space mm. people who feel judged at church this is their safe space women who are abused by men of god mm. this is their safe space people who say i've not been to church but i want god and i want to make my way back to church mm. this is how they've started praying and now some of them are back at church yeah mm. for me it's more about um reconciling my ancestors like mm-hmm. those that lived before me mm-hmm. knowing their place where are they the fact that um for example i'll just wrap up now for example abraham was a man of faith in the bible mm. and then my grandmother who bore my mother my mother bore me was a woman of faith nae ya kreke ya blue and white the warabela and all those and that's where i got that from that's where i got my prayerfulness and my mm. ministry from so now when i'm going to now go in the church and just forget about my grandmother and think that i've got faith because of abraham and say that my grandmother is a demon no that woman's blood runs i am because she was how do i now say no I, i'm not i don't want to worship her you know mm. but i want to just like rebel god of abraham isaac and 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 whoever and jacob i want to i want my grandmother because that's who i am i'm not the blood of abraham So that's And when I'm going to tell you Bazalwane ne mm. we think we own God mm. Bazalwane don't own God Mm-mm. anytime you go to God in the name of Jesus he'll hear you mm. anytime you pray to God whether ofetso chaiswa ke kolo and you call his name mm. God will hear you God mm. is not owned by Mm-mm. anybody no. um funny enough at the last gathering we had we had a lady who was wearing a yellow dug mm. and maybe to some people it was like what's mm, happening mm. but if these people come and they want god who are we to close the door who are we to mm. say this one can come to god this one can't we don't own heaven mm. at the end of the day the bible says work god out your one. own salvation walk towards pleasing god because le godimo now they won't even put me there and say promise what do you think i truly should she enter no they won't even ask does promise deserve to come in or not yeah. it's it's no one's opinion your relationship mm. with god that's why it's called a relationship and as long as in that relationship there is no water mm. the water is outside the ship that's fine yeah mm. that's just my 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 thing that i want to reconcile the two where i know that i'm who i am because of my grandmother you know and then there is god there is the bible i believe in the bible you know but i just think it's reference about other people's lives and then they are reference about my grandmother who used to pray who used to help people give birth who is all those extra stories that she did the people in the bible they did extraordinary things mm. but they were put down for them and when we talk of those people we don't worship them as well yeah. we are referencing we are referencing you know, as long as you are clear you don't pray to your grandmother no <laughs> i don't think she, she herself was not praying to her grandmother she was praying to god mm. i used to go to church with her so that's how now i was like you know this christianity thing because i was trying to reconcile my grandmother and my ancestors and my identity my true identity with christianity and then now the pastors also this church hurt but i wouldn't say church hurt took me out of the church it's this ancestral thing because i know i'm linked a, a thing but then now christianity made me the church made my prayer life oh ch- the church made my prayer life and i miss that Just, yeah, and I let me tell you something that. yeah You are in ministry. I'm even getting emotional. I think let me just confirm something to you. Mm. The other time I was on radio and they asked me a question, if 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 people ask you how can they find their purpose, what yes. would you say? You as well. I want to tell you that you're already in ministry. <laughs> We think we are all called Prophet to Prophetess now is in the office no. prophesying to me. You think you must stand in the pulpit and mm. say out in the name of Jesus. Yes. No. You are called for marriages. Mm. That's your calling. Mm. You don't have to take demons out of people yeah. you can t- take demons out of other people's marriages mm. that's your calling yeah. stand on it don't even desire to do something else mm. that's your calling people want to 
judge other people's callings. God has called us differently. Mm. You are called for marriage. You are called to advocate yeah. for beautiful marriage. You are mm. called to advocate for happy, soft marriage. Mm. And who are we to stand there? Some people, just because you have encountered strife, yeah. it does not mean there's no good side. 100%. So you are called to bring clarity on the good side mm. and you should embrace it as a ministry. You are working mm. on your calling. You are not called maybe to take out demons or what, but work on that. Hallelujah, prophetess. Thank you so much. But that's just where I am as far as the church and my call. I know 100% and I'm going back to church. You know, mm. I, 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 just, I must just find a, a proper church where, because I miss my prayer life. I miss my prayer life. Mm. You know, waking up at 3 a.m., casting nice. out. It's nice. I used to enjoy that God a lot. God brings peace. Oh, you know, a lot of people sometimes ask themselves, this one, how does she do it? Mm. With people talking about her, it's because my peace is within. My oh. peace is with God. Like, you fulfilled. I'm mm. happy. My parents love me. Mm. You know, even when I was going to the airport after the whole people, when they said my skirt was short and yeah. I was going to the airport, I passed by my mom. I was wearing jeans and she was like, well, no, we didn't. I was like, no, I want to. But she was hey, like, hey, hey, take off that thing. You are my you child. See, you don't those are the people. people that bring me peace. Mm. And any other thing that is outside really it doesn't matter it's just noise mm, it's just noise yeah anyway guys this marks the end of our sit down i think this was a, a godly a very godly um meeting even what is going to come out of this which is hopefully the sit down with pastor pira and yourself it's just got things just got things anyway mm -hmm. thank you so much mommy for coming and i wish you all the best guys follow her across all her social media platforms support everything that she does you also sell hair i, I saw hair. she also beautiful hair by the way and yeah that's it from us it's love and light bye